National Food Buffer Stock Company is responsible for distributing food to schools and the government's free SHS policy, but inadequate and delayed supply have hindered its smooth implementation. The Conference of Heads of Assisted Schools recommends that government scraps the National Food Buffer Stock from the supply of food items to senior high schools to reduce the perennial food shortage. Charles also passionately wish to reiterate our plea to management to allow the various schools procure the food items to feed the students. This has become necessary because of how at times some suppliers disappoint us in delivering some food items on time and in time for varied reasons. We have a firm belief that procuring the food items by ourselves from our traditional suppliers will curb the acute shortages of food items in our schools and also reduce the logistical and operational challenges that come with it. The school has expressed concerns about rising in discipline among senior high students and requested government's discretionary powers to enforce discipline in schools despite the new code of conduct. Charles is concerned about the increasing rates of indiscipline that have bedeviled most of our senior high schools of late. While we acknowledge the recently approved code of conduct for students in senior high schools, Charles is of the view that the heads of these institutions must be given some discretionary powers to handle more serious issues at the level of the Board of Governors. This, we believe, will efficiently and in a fast manner fast track justice delivery in our schools. President Akufado refuted claims that the introduction of the free senior high school has led to the decline in the quality of education in the country. The results of each batch of the graduates whom with your indulgence I call the Akufuado graduates have surpassed those chalked in 9, 2016 prior to my assumption of office. Quality, despite the increased enrollment figures, which as I have said now stands at some 1.4 million students, has not declined. The 2021 batch of students who also obtained very commendable results were the pioneers of the double track system, which elicited a lot of unmerited vilification and unfounded criticism on its introduction. The 2022 results are the best of the last eight years. The theme for the 61st anniversary was quality education, teacher-student well-being and global education trends.